Hi guys, my name is Lizzie Pierce, and today I'm here with Adobe Stock and Epidemic Sound to help make your lives a little bit easier when it comes to motion graphics in your projects. Motion graphics, love to use them, hate to make them. So what if I told you there was an easier way to add motion graphics to your projects all within Adobe Premiere Pro? I've just opened up my Premiere Pro workspace and imported some sample footage from Adobe Stock into my sequence here. And now I just wanna spice it up a little bit and add some motion graphics. Motion graphics are a great way to make your video content more professional and customized. I run my own video production company, and if you guys are producing content for other businesses or wanna make this your full-time job, adding things like motion graphics are one way that you can charge a bit more for your productions. A video with motion graphics is of course going to be more expensive than a video without motion graphics, and that's because it takes a lot of time and skill to make these custom graphics all in Adobe After Effects. So using templates all with in Premiere Pro is one way to cut that time and skill barrier in half. So we've got to hand it to Adobe Stock and Premiere Pro here for making our lives even easier by offering not only customizable but licensable motion graphics that are readily accessible all within Premiere Pro. So back to the workspace. When you click on the essential graphics panel in your workspace, a sidebar opens with all the graphic options. So you can browse through either My Templates or the Adobe Stock templates here. Under My Templates, you'll find some standard title motion graphics and lower third motion graphics. You also find any templates that you've added to Premiere Pro yourself. Similarly to importing presets into Lightroom, you can import motion graphics into Premiere Pro that you can use over and over again. To use one of these graphics, you simply drag it into your timeline. And the best part is you can customize it. So when you click on the graphic in your timeline or on the edit button in your panel, all of these options come up. So you can customize the font, size, color, and a bunch of other things. These templates are a great starting point for adding graphics to your project. But if you wanna step it up even more, you can head over to the Adobe Stock section of the panel. And here you'll find more complex and even more high quality graphics that'll really level up your video. As you can see, there are pages and pages of options. And you'll notice some of them have this blue dollar sign symbol in the top left corner. And that means that you'll need to purchase a license to use that graphic. And guess what? This can all be done in Premiere Pro. The the thing I love about these graphic features is that I don't have to leave my project, go on the internet, search a bunch of stock websites for the perfect template. Instead, I can do everything within my project file. I really like the look of this graphic here, but as you can see, I need to purchase a license. So I drag it into my timeline and this pop-up shows up. All you have to do is click continue and it'll take you directly to the Adobe Stock website. You buy the license and then just keep on trekking with your project. It's as simple as that. Now, if you don't have a budget to be purchasing licenses for your project, that's okay. There is an option for you too. All you have to do is check this little box over here next to free and Adobe Stock will show you options that are free to use. Adobe Stock has almost 600 free motion graphics templates. Well. 599 to be exact, so you won't have a problem finding one that suits your project. For these ones, all you have to do is drag it into your timeline and you're all set. I've chosen the graphics I like and already added them to my timeline, so now I'm just gonna customize them. You can change the font, the color, and the timing. Make sure to keep an eye on your action safe and title safe zones as well. And here's my final video with the graphics. As you can see, this looks so much better than the static titles, and it's so much more simple than creating your own motion graphics. Now, if I made this from scratch, it would have taken hours that, frankly, I don't have. So what have we learned today, guys? To work smarter, not harder. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to check out the other videos on the Creators Lab series.